Hi, this is Christy with webprofitvideos.com. Today we're talking about Evernote. It's a note-taking program, but much better than anything like Notepad or anything similar. And I will let you know the reasons why. But first, let me tell you real quick, I apologize if I sound a little rough. I'm fighting a head cold right now. So let's hop over. If you go to evernote.com, you can download it. And there are some instructional videos there. To be honest, I don't even know what they cover because I've been using it so long, I haven't gone back to their website. I use this program several times a day, every day. It really keeps me organized and it makes it so much easy, so easy to access all the information. And of course, what we love about it is that it's a free application as well. There's a paid upgrade, but to be honest, I love the free version so much, I've never even upgraded. When you first sign up, you're gonna get a note that tells you all about Evernote. You have a list of all your notes here and you have a categories here that you can create new categories anytime you want and subcategories. And this is what's so great about it, is I can create a note. And if I went into Notepad, I would have to open Notepad. This comes open automatically. I set it up to open every day with my windows open. Now, you'll see in just a minute that this automatically creates a title based on the first line of whatever you type in there. Or you can also right click, you can rename right there, or you can just click once and rename it. Okay, so there's your note. And I don't have to save it, it automatically saves. So I don't have to worry about closing anything and forgetting to save it. I can also set up in my tools to have Evernote backup every single day and keep five copies of those backups or how many of our one, I just keep five. So I have no chance of losing these, fortunately. So when I have a new document, like I said, it automatically applies the title or I can apply my own title and I don't have to figure out what name to save it under. I don't have to figure out where to save it. So if I have a notepad and I type up a new note, I don't have to remember where I save this for. I don't have to decide if I want this under my documents, under my websites, under my projects, where I want to file it under. It automatically is saved chronologically. Everything is saved by time and we can reverse it as to the creation date, order and so forth. And then you could also file it, so to speak, but what we're doing is applying tags, or in this case, categories. So you can apply as many categories as you want to to each note. So I can come over here and choose any of these that I want to. And now I see if I go over to wherever I marked those for in the personal whatever, I'm going to have that welcome note right under there. Welcome to Evernote. And I can put as many tags as I want to so I don't have to figure out where it is. What if I still forget where it is? Well, I know somewhere in that article um, I typed the word Evernote. There we go. There's all the references to Evernote that are in my welcome notes. I don't know where it was, so I hit all notes. Hit my thing here again. And it brings up everything that has Evernote in my notes. So, hello world, and you'll see that it highlights the keyword that you are searching for. So that's the biggest thing I love about this, is the fact that I can bring up this program, throw something in, paste it in there, and not have to worry about where I want to save it. Quick paste in there, and I don't forget about it. Now, what if I don't want to keep it? I just had somebody's phone number. I need to write it down real quick, and I don't want to save it. I just hit my control in, 555-1212. Um, so then I call that person. I'm all done with it. And all I do is exit, and it's gone. So it's a quick... Uh, use or it is a good long-term use. As you can see, I have a lot of categories going here and a lot of notes in each one. So all you do to create new categories is right-click. You have new category or new subcategory and you can rename categories and delete them and so forth. And you even have properties for setting up your categories. Okay, you can make it bigger on this side too by clicking on here. Oops. And then I have room for expanding my notes. You also have on this side a way to search chronologically by the month and year that you think you may have posted something. If you can't remember much about it, and you want to look by the date. So what you can do also, a very neat little thing here. Let me hit Control N, or I can hit my new note up here, is we can have note types. So text messages I most often use is just type right in there. 
but you can also do things like this. You have ink notes. And you can manually write. So there are a couple things, like I said, that you can upgrade for paid. I've never even used this ink note, to be honest. Um, like here, it'll recognize so if you made approximate to a square, it'll make it right into a square. If it is a paid upgrade, say I click on it, and it gives me a message that I have to pay in order to upgrade to it. It's an advanced feature. So I hit cancel. I no longer want this, so I close it. We have a shopping list. So you can put your item right in here. Um, cheese. Two packages, and if it's done or not. Get rid of that one. Oh, we have a source code. See, so it just gives a place to put the source code. To-do list. Very, very useful. Uh, what the topic is and when it's done. And we have more advanced to-do list, which has dates. Just a spot for date. Uh, to do single instead of a whole list. Your contacts. Makes it real easy to type up your contacts in there. And even phone message. And let me show you something neat that I use a lot also. Let's just go back to a simple text note. And if I am talking about things I want to do, um, WordPress is great for easy updating. Give list of uh, common uses. I don't know. Now what I can do is right click or hit Control Shift C and insert a to-do box. So you can have a to-do box right in the middle of all the text that you're working on if you suddenly remember something that you definitely want to get done and check off. I find myself using this a lot actually. Oh, you can uh, do easy cut and paste. If there's anything in a website or any image, you can copy and paste. So, let's scroll down a bit here. Copy it to my clipboard. And paste it in a new note. Now here's something neat, is when you do have a web note, of course there's a spot up here, but it's automatically going to be saved as a web clip. And it automatically keeps track of your source of where you got it from. So if I double click on here, it's going to take me right back to the source of where I copied this note from. You don't have to keep track of the URL yourself. Very nice. Okay, so you can of course paste images here. Along with Evernote comes a Universal Clipper. Go into your tools and you have Launch Universal Clipper and you can set it to come up automatically if you want to. So if I open that now, it's a neat little tool. I can do screen captures or text capture. So if I'm here, again, they have this. Instead of right click and copy, I can just check here. Go back to Evernote. And there it is. And what is even better is the screen capture. I can do this and hit the green for the screen capture. I'm going to resize it. And if I right click right now, I have options. How about drawing mode? I just save that. My wonderful text here trying to write with my mouse pad. Oops, in fact, I felt it spelled it wrong. That's a short version of remember. And then I can save. Back to Evernote. And there it is, the image with my note right on it. Very sweet. So we're going to get rid of this. Again, see these are all in chronological order. So there are a lot of more options that you can set things up for, what you want to view and how you want to use things. And synchronize, there's an online version. Again, I'm not sure if that's an upgrade or with the free version that you can use online and local and then synchronize the two. So um, in the comments, ask me about anything that you're not sure of. And if you're not using this, I highly suggest you grab it. So that's it for today's video. Now, if you're not watching this video on my website, for instance, if you're watching on YouTube, you can watch more videos by going to webprofitvideos.com. And if you are on YouTube, if you look in the upper right here above the video, you'll see there's a link that will take you right to my site.